So could you kind of take us through some of the, the things that are going on with uh, the Palestinian Authority and... Uh... The Palestinian Authority, set up in 1994 as a temporary station before a state would be established, has established an entity which officially endorses the armed struggle to destroy Israel and to replace Israel on Palestinian Authority television, Palestinian Authority radio, Palestinian Authority uh, websites. Well, a, a, Jew was, a Jew was killed today, but, but the, uh, the, the, the three other assailants are martyrs, heroes, people to be respected, people to be loved. Adolf Hitler never awarded or praised those who killed Jews. It just happened. Didn't, or didn't, appre didn't, didn't say publicly that he, that he approved it. But this is what you see every day here. Are there a lot of uh, terrorist attacks on Israelis that go unreported in the Western media? Nothing is unreported, everything is downplayed. So and essentially we're dealing with the same kind of ideology that we're facing in Europe, which is on the rise, this same jihadi, you know, hatred against democracy. And it's not a hatred against democracy, it's a war on the West, trying to reverse history through low intensity conflict. Most military historians and military strategists they poo-poo the whole idea of low-intensity war. But low-intensity war has, a, has an effect, a cumulative effect. Slow, uh, like Chinese torture. The United Nations are something to do with this. The United Nations Relief and Work Agency is the recipient and the operator of schools in 59 uh, UNRWA refugee facilities. And 492,000 children learn in these facilities in Judea, Samaria, Gaza, and Jerusalem. Uh, now, the money isn't coming from the UN, the money is coming from foreign donations. But UNRWA is the conduit for running this operation. So when you say foreign donations, you mean Western taxpayer dollars. Western taxpayer payer, payer dollars, $1.2 billion per annum per year. Wow. So my country, right. the UK is involved in UK, funding. UK, if, if we look on the chart here, I believe it's number, the number five contributors. The UK are number five contributors and the US are? Number two, number one. The US are, num the US are number one of contributing yeah. to right. UNRWA. Mm -hmm. $400 million a year. And this money is being siphoned and used to produce pro-jihad content. Absolutely. So these are the palace the Palestinian schools indoctrinating the children. That's right. It's like a military operation. Right, absolutely. Basically, they're calling for their... They're revving them up for the right of return to, but by force of arms. They don't, they don't mince words in terms of what they're doing. I think what people need to realise as well is that the, the problems we face in Europe are not dissimilar to the same ideology. Well, the, the school books that are used in the Palestinian Authority are exported to Europe in Muslim education schools, openly. And we wonder why we've got an increasing problem with terrorism. That's right. But you, you don't, when you, 
you don't have to be like me as a community organizer to recognize issues of systems analysis to see how they operate in a, in a systematic cooperative fashion. Right, and unless the government deal with this problem in our lands, then it's not going to go away. That's right. I've seen this rise in anti-Semitism across some, some in, in society in, in general, but even across some Christians and sure. some of the more, especially the more liberal churches in the West. What, what the um, Palestinian Authority is doing is manipulating a, a latent anti-Semitism, which is, in, which is throughout the Christian world, and using themes such as the killing of children. And the next stage of the, of the uh, war is to put thousands of armed children on the, on the battlefield, uh, make sure they die, and make sure there's enough footage of these children before they died so that the Jews can be, kill, be accused of killing children. Where have we heard that before? And as Jews feel more and more uncomfortable in Western nations, the country here in Israel is only, only going to grow. And that will instigate a new round of anti-Semitism, the likes of which we haven't seen in a long time. Uh, they idealize a Hitler and his hatred of the Jews, and uh, this is very troublesome. And uh, we are living in very troubled times, and this is part of the prophetical end time period where a, uh, a ever increasing hatred for Israel and nations that defend Israel, uh, and maybe against uh, the reporters that report the truth about Israel. I think more specifically regarding this uh, hateful UN school curriculum called UNRWA, uh, not, not recognizing Israel right, right to exist in the textbooks, not, not posting this land as being Israel, but just Palestine and deceiving the children and inciting them to against violence and training them to kill. When we were in the British Parliament, who denied that um, jihad or war, war is taught in our, in our schools. So we took some clauses from the school books. This is, it's, children learn this by heart. Jihad is in the cause of God for raising a flag of Islam and preventing oppression and corruption on earth. When a Muslim man, man believes that God is, is the one who gives death, gain and loss, and that victory and power are in his hand, he then liberates himself from others' control. And bravery and the desire to seek martyrdom in God's cause are enlivened within his soul. There's a, uh, here's a poem that a child, a child responds uh, that where she likens martyrdom to a wed wedding party. O oh, my homeland, I shall not cry in this wedding party, for our Arabness refuses that when we cry over the martyrs. How old is she? This is in eighth grade. Eighth grade? Yeah. They're idealizing martyrdom. Wow. Um, Incredible. Yeah. The children are prepared for jihad martyrdom. I shall live as a fidai, and uh, die as a fidai as a fighter. Um, here we have. In the, in the school books, a child holding, a, holding an automatic weapon, by resistance we shall win. National education, grade eight. I've seen amongst an increasing number of people, quite worryingly, this rise of blaming Jewish people, anti-Semitism, yeah. even amongst the select few, a sympathy with Hitler. And mm -hmm. just the whole thing coming, turning back round, and it's very concerning to me to see that. If you've heard of, um, other maybe have heard of the boycott divestment uh, uh, issue of, of boycotting Israel products, uh, ever increasing blatant disrespect uh, for uh, the Judeo, uh, the Judeo heritage here to Israel, and uh, with all these votes from the UN becoming more anti-Semitic uh, in, in uh, uh, rebellion, I would say, against uh, the living God and uh, disrespect for God in general. Have you noticed a, an increase in anti-Semitism and anti-Jewish comments? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. 
is uh, that spirit, anti-Semitism is there. I would say uh, anti-Israel, anti-anything that is Jewish. Jerusalem is presented as an Arab city from the very beginning. Jerusalem is a city built by Arab Yebusites 5,000 years ago. Look at the map of Israel, of Palestine. Over here, you have Tel, Ar Tel, Arabia, Tel Arabia, a new and Arab city which, which never existed, but they say it existed, and that Tel Aviv took its place. Map of the Arab world, here's the green, that's the Arab world, and the yellow is Palestine, no Israel. Just to make sure that no one has any doubt, the Palestinian flag flying over all of Palestine. President Trump has called for, uh, in, the, in the past, about uh, defunding the UN. Um, there doesn't seem to be any benefit to being involved with the UN as it becomes more, more increasingly anti-Semitic, uh, I see, and then uh, opposing Christian values as well. Some things aren't always totally correct, and we need to check and check out and make sure that the news that we receive isn't indoctrinization rather than um, um, proper news. Do you believe there is an agenda in the mainstream media against Israel? Yes, well we just see it with the UNESCO vote. You know, UNESCO voted to say that the Temple Mount has got nothing to do with the Jewish people. Uh, I did an interview with a, a, a member of the Knesset just recently and she said, well I would send them the Bible. The Bible clearly says that the Jews had some connection you know, mm -hmm. Jesus turned over the tables in the temple, on the right. temple mount, right there in the temple. So of course the Jews have some connection, yes. you know. It's ignorant to yes. say that they don't, but politics is becoming higher right. than fact. And when you start bringing politics higher than fact, then you're on dangerous ground. You believe there's a war coming oh, to yes, Israel? Oh yes, absolutely. From absolutely. Hezbollah, H Hamas? Both of them. If they do like 1967, they came from every side. And this is where you see, although it's striving to be a place of democracy and freedom for all, there is the stark truth that this place has many that this place has many enemies and has to prepare for random missile attacks because there are many that seek the destruction of Israel and it's surrounded by militant Islamic forces that seek to steal, kill and destroy this way of life whether it's here or in the West and here we are there's loads of speaker systems all around the town. Loads of alarms, air raid sirens that sound when uh, a missile is being fired into Israel. Men, women and children have to come down into shelters like this. I believe the last time was 2014 when Hamas fired rockets, there was a war against Hamas. And this is the reality of, of a free society, but with the undercurrent of the danger of being surrounded by forces that hate the West, hate democracy. But I mean, how often do you see the newspapers covering it from this angle? And you know, this is just a normal town. This is a, a safe place to live. But there's always that constant danger and underlying fear that there are those out there that wish to kill, wish to steal, kill and destroy. And you cannot negotiate with these people. You cannot negotiate with terrorists. You realize how fortunate we, we truly are living in the West that we don't have to face these problems so far, although it's getting worse. And you understand that it's the same ideology that threatens us in Europe. It's the same ideology.
and this money is being siphoned and used to produce pro-jihad content. Absolutely. The, the school books that are used in the Palestinian Authority are exported to Europe in Muslim education schools openly. And we wonder why we've got an increasing problem with terrorism. That's right. Israel leaders in the Knesset, I'm aware of, are concerned about the misuse of U.S. tax dollars going to U.N. schools that are inciting kids to violence against the Jews. Uh, what, what do you think President Trump, uh, how would he respond to these Israel leaders there? And I think he has tremendous respect for how tax dollars are spent. Seventy years after the murder of six million Jews, Iran's rulers promise to destroy my country, murder my people, and the response from this body, the response from nearly every one of the governments represented here has been absolutely nothing, utter silence, deafening silence. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me, into the midst whereof they are fallen themselves. Selah. The response from nearly every one of the governments represented here has been utter silence, deafening silence. For thus saith the Lord, Sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country, and gather them from the coasts of the earth, and with them the blind and the lame, the woman with child, and her that travaileth with child together. A great company shall return thither. Thus saith the Lord God, I will even gather you from the people, and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel.